Hi there, I'm David Bargell, I'm one of the medical students. Can I start by asking your name and date of birth, please? Yep, my name's Misha, my date of birth is the 15th of February 1988. Okay, Misha, I'd like to test your eyes today. Uh, would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. It's going to involve me testing your eye movements and getting you to read as well. Okay. So can I ask, what do you use your glasses for? Do you use it for long distances to look at the, a cinema screen or do you use it just to read at short distances? Yeah, just for yeah, long distances and I don't use it for reading. Okay, that's absolutely fine. So if you keep those on for me, yep. um, we're going to test your vision now. So if you can just look over to this chart for me. Okay. I want to start by testing your vision. So if you can cover one of your eyes with your hands for me. Okay, and just read the letters from the top line down to as far as you can. E F P T O Z L P E D P E C F D E D F C Z P F E L O P Z D D E F P O T E C L M R O R P O L. That's fine. No, don't worry, that's fine. Thank you. So if you cover your other eye for me and just read down from the top again. P Z D D E F P O T E C L E R O R P O T E C. Well done, that's great. Thank you. So now I'm just going to test your near vision. So if you can take your glasses off for me for this part of the examination and just read the first sentence of this book for me. For instance, when light from a distant visual target enters the normal eye, one with a relaxed ciliary muscle, the target is in focus on the retina. Thank you very much. Okay, now I want you to look straight ahead at my nose and just tell me when you can see my fingers wiggling, okay? Yeah, that's it. That one. Both. Okay, that's great. Okay, if you cover one of your eyes for me. Okay, once again, tell me when you can see my finger wiggly. Yeah. 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 Okay, just cover the other eye. Tell me when you can see it wiggly. Yeah. 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 Well done. That's great. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to have a closer look at your eyes. It's going to involve me shining bright light into your eyes, which might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it should be reasonably brief. Okay. okay. So if you can look straight ahead for me. Thank you very much. Okay, so just keep your eyes on my finger. And just follow it in. That's fine. Now if you can just look at the wall behind and just look at my finger again. Wall behind and my finger again. That's great, thank you. I'm going to test your eye movements now, so if you can try and keep your head still and just focus on the tip of my finger. I'm going to have a look at the back of your eyes now with this instrument here. It's going to involve me shining bright light into your eyes so it might be a little bit uncomfortable. Okay. okay. So if you can just look ahead at the spot in front of the wall. Okay, I'm just going to start by shining that bright light into your eyes. Good. Okay, I'm going to place my hand onto your head now. So if you just stay looking straight ahead. I'm just going to come up quite close now. Okay, if you can just look 
Okay, just relax. I'm just going to do the same from the other side again. That completes my examination. Thank you very much. Thanks. To summarise, I performed an examination of the eyes of Misha, a 26-year-old gentleman. His visual acuity is 6 over 6 in both eyes with glasses, and his near vision was normal. There were no other abnormalities of his eyes or vision. To complete my examination, I would like to test the colour vision using Ishihara test plates and do a full examination of all the cranial nerves.